Here comes Ben. He was just by the water machine. Oh, be getting a little drink. There he is. <laughs> Trying to water down his hair. Keep it calm today. Uh, ben. Yes. We're going to play the Psycho That's Mark. That's hilarious. Game. This is hilarious. What is Psycho Mark doing these days? He's producing Alan Combs' show with oh, is that what he does? Yeah. Oh, that's uh, right. Yeah, he does. Uh, he's producing a radio show, and uh, he also yeah. still works cameraman at Fox. I no, so. yeah. Fox and Friends are one of those shows. But this is hilarious because he's naming cities you guys weren't even on in. I remember when this happened. <laughs> Opie called me, and he's like, "What the fuck is he doing?" Yeah, he's way out of. He's saying how he knows the leader of the Catholic League, how he's a yeah. friend of his. This yeah. was the first. Guy. He just lost his mind. Yeah, this was the first guy that was even remotely involved with the show that was talking. <laughs> this was when, when did this, uh, this was air? The day after. Was the this the day was... after we got fired or well, canceled. So, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Canceled. At this fired, point, whatever. It was a Friday. Off. It was a Friday morning. Yeah, because the thing happened on a Thursday. And so, so he he was like Thursday. the inside guy. Well, because they were trying to get you know it was such a big thing the sex in St. Pat's that they were trying to get anyone on on their air. Yeah, uh, they wanted us. Obviously, they camped outside our residence for mm -hmm. I don't know, off and on for a couple weeks. They wanted anybody involved uh, with the show. Anyone, Steve, Rick, anybody, Ben. Yeah, anyone that was even our close. agent. Uh, no one people was that talking. worked for uh, Viacom. No, no one, one was, was talking except Psycho Mark gave the exclusive interview to Fox and Friends, and they even goof on him a little bit at the beginning because he's wearing a suit and he never wears a suit. He's like. They're goofing on the fact that he's clean and he's got to give the suit back to the guy he borrowed it from. Right. I so guess they like pick a, him up. He was a regular employee. He would help us out, but he also worked for Fox and Friends. So yeah. he was like just a regular scumbag over at Fox and Friends. But he had the exclusive on the biggest story of the day. Yeah. So they, they treat him like a superstar. They made sure he had a suit. They, they got, I think they even got him a limo that day to yeah. bring him to work. Brushed his hair. Brushed his hair and sat him down for the exclusive in interview. The inside scoop on OP and Anthony. Wonderful. This thing has made us laugh for the last two years. I don't know if you'll find it as funny as, as we do, but we'll stop it. you got to also remember, especially the new listeners, this guy is out of his freaking mind. Oh, yeah. That's why he's called Psycho Mark. But he was using his broadcast voice all of a sudden. Yeah. Because this, this was a very serious day. Yeah, go from talking like this. Let me tell you how fucked up we were last night. Yeah, he'll, he'll talk about the coloreds in Boston with this really bad uh, voice. and then ah, Yeah, the coloreds, they love keeping them in their own fucking area up there in Boston. And then he's like, hey, how are you doing, guys? Right. So I, I use the uh, radio voice now. Here's the audio. We'll stop it. Unfortunately for a couple of guys who are making millions of dollars a year, Opie and Anthony in New York City, they were fired yesterday after a couple was caught having sex at St. Patrick's Cathedral, and it was all being broadcast on their radio show. Joining us now with some exclusive details as a member of that cast, Mark Walsh, better known to Opie and Anthony, on those Opie and Anthony listeners as Psycho Mark. Hi guys, how are you? Good. Thanks for well, having me on. <laughs> good, Hi guys. Good to have me on. How are you? Thanks for having me on. <laughs> yeah. Like he's a general talking about the war. <laughs> right, right. Thanks for having me on. And Sounds right, like Jim Cook. <laughs> and, and right after this interview, he went right behind the camera again and filmed Fox and Friends. Yeah. Thanks for having me on. Wasn't he miking people back then? Oh, that's what he was. That's right? what his job was. He would uh, put the little microphones Thanks on. Thanks for having me on. Before Open the interview. Anthony, on those Open Anthony listeners as Psycho Mark. Hi, guys. How are you? Good. Thanks for Mark, having me on. Mark, uh, it's a <laughs> thrill to see you again, especially clean. <laughs> thrill to see you again. They, thrill to see you see again. see him every day as, the, as he's miking the guests. He works with you. He works with you, you idiot. That'd be like me going, hey, Jimmy, thrilled to see you again. <laughs> Right. Like, oh, he doesn't stop by uh, very often, but good thing he's here today. All kidding aside, Ann, thanks for having me on. Oh, no problem. They're making no it problem. sound like he's their expert for the things in the media. You yeah. Know, he comes from time. He comes yeah. on from time good to time. To see you again. Like you said, the war correspondent. Yeah. Especially clean. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, with a suit and everything. I know. I didn't know. I feel like a pundit, you know. Give but... it back to John Scott at the end of the show. That's part of the deal. Fair deal. But, Mark, let's uh, talk seriously what happened. Fred was the one, our producer, here to inform you about what happened. You've talked to Opie and Anthony since. He did not. <laughs> he did not talk to <laughs> I us. I watched this at home going, Mark did not talk to me. No. Mark didn't talk to Anthony. Uh -uh. Anthony and I pretty much shut off our cell phones and went into hiding. Yeah. I, my own mom and dad didn't talk to me. No one talked. No one talked to us. And, and Psycho Mark We were was pretty not... damn depressed about losing our careers. No one was talking to us. Psycho Mark was not spoken to. I didn't talk for a week, maybe two weeks. <laughs> did, did you hear the first line? I, 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 <laughs> I've memorized this thing. It's so funny. <laughs> What happened? You've talked to Obi and Anthony since. What's their feeling about getting... getting well, it was a, a huge thing, needless to say. I mean, needless to say, the entire stunt was a bad thing. Psycho <laughs> Mark! <laughs> wow, adding some real new information there. It was bad thing. 
This is a guy that held up the C word on live TV for us, but but all of a sudden he's going to throw yeah. us throw us out to dry there. Well, it was I a guess bad out to dry. Thing. Whenever you use the term "needless to say" twice in a row, yeah. you have nothing to say. To say needless to say, I have nothing to say. Nothing to say. <laughs> Let it be known, we've never said this. He was the guy that held up the C U N T sign on live TV. Yeah, that was him, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Yeah, he's also the guy that jumped on the front of the voyeur bus and hung onto the windshield wipers. <laughs> As it drove down the street, <laughs> pounding, let me in, let me in. And bragging that he they that he hid an ounce of pot somewhere on the bus so they had to take the bus apart. Oh, when that like like ants take apart a grasshopper. That's what they did to the voyeur bus because Psycho Mark was bragging that he hid an ounce on it. Guys, they're arresting us right now. Yeah, they're arresting us, but I, I hit my pot in one of the seats. Gah, 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 gah. <laughs> They'll never fucking find it. <laughs> oh, I gotta put on my smooth guy voice. The cops are coming. <laughs> this is the same guy. I mean, we love the guy. Trust oh, me. Oh, don't get us wrong. We love the guy. This guy's a pisser. He does great radio for us, but this thing is unbelievable. I'm here to inform you about what happened. You've talked to Obi and Anthony since. No. What's their feeling about getting... Well, it was a huge thing, needless to say. I mean, needless to say, the entire <laughs> stunt was a bad thing. What happened was entirely wrong. And the boys are very upset that the it boys. even happened. The boys. <laughs> the boys are very the upset. The boys. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. The boys. It's like a father talking about his kids. The boys are very upset with what happened. Well, do it again. Needless to say, I mean, it was needless to say a bad thing. The entire stunt was entirely wrong. It's like, Jesus, they got four words he's saying. <laughs> oh, he's beyond nervous, though. This is his big uh, moment in the spotlight. What I'm saying is needless. Yeah, the boys are really, they knew they had to get the papers. Get the papers. <laughs> needless to say, needless to say. What I'm saying is needless to say. Yeah. <laughs> ben, we're off the entire. Park. The boys are very upset. I know, I was listening to that. It's hilarious. Oh, the boys. <laughs> it happened. What was at stake here was a trip to the Sam Adams uh, plant up in Massachusetts, and whoever got the most points would get the free trip, right? Exactly. And the way you get points is? You go around town, and they, the couples would engage in uh, lewd acts in, you know, in different places. So they All right, listen to me. And I just remembered something. Didn't he go with you that day? What's that? Yeah. He followed you that yeah, day yeah, with, yeah. with your couple. Yeah. So he was actually <laughs> in yeah. there. Uh, so far, he's got the facts straight, though. Except the fact that he talked to you. He, the boys were upset. So ah, goes, right. And the reason, by the way, needless to say, needless to say, <laughs> that he's working at Fox anyway is because he got fired from his job at WNEW. And Why did he get fired? <laughs> for the second annual Sex for Sam contest. When he took his couple into our boss's office and made them have anal sex on the couch <laughs> of our general manager while our program director was looking through the glass door going, No! No! Don't do that! No! And, and, and Psycho Mark <laughs> spun his head around, looked at our program director, and said to his couple, Guys, go for it. Yeah, live on the air. What was the program director doing besides instructing the girl how to relax before she took a cock in her ass? <laughs> You just won't let that go, that you didn't get your raise before you got fired. Wow. Wow. Wow! Anyway, so this is who they have on Fox yeah. and Friends. Here's their and here's our pal, but I think it's just hilarious. In, you know, in different places. So they'd have sex in different places. Exactly. For points, and then someone picked the St. Patrick's Cathedral, and even with a 40-second delay... Well, what happened, aired it? what happened before the show was, it, and it was explained to everybody that took part in the show, do not go to St. Patrick's Cathedral. That is no. a... That is a flat-out lie. That's a lie, too. <laughs> we didn't even bring up the, the word St. Patrick's no. Cathedral. Church was on the list. Yeah. Uh... We kind of told the people, you know, did we even tell them to steer clear of the churches? I don't think we did. No, not really. I think it was we on gonna, the list, but we assumed. We were going to control it yeah. uh, from where we sat. Yeah, we <laughs> did a great gonna, job, didn't we? We weren't going to take any calls from, like, a church. but Or if we, we did, we were going to, like, down. play it in a way that we would have probably saved our asses. Yeah, but when we plunked the phone line down and Paul Mercurio just said, we're here at St. Pat's and they're doing the balloon knot, uh, it was kind of too late. No turning back. Could have punched the dump button, though. All right, here's, Could have shit a widow. here's more Psycho Mark. Two of my favorite things are still coming up. Oh. Buddy that took part in the show, do not go to St. Patrick's Cathedral. This was told to all the participants before we even went on air that day, okay? Can, go, can I just jump in real quick? I mean, any church. There was like 25 points that you could get for going into a church. Wouldn't, wouldn't you just think any church would... 
Exactly. Below people's well, most minds. of the stuff that happens is it, it's it's radio. It's on air. There's it's it's a description. It's theater of the mind, so to speak. Stop. <laughs> so to speak. He's an expert on radio. <laughs> radio. It's theater of the mind, so to speak. So, to speak. so you have a theater and a mind, neither of which I'm in possession of at this moment. <laughs> what makes this funny? If you know a psycho mark like we know. What oh, a tool. I love it. I love it. Yeah. How'd you guys get Rod Serling to do an interview on your behalf? <laughs> Pitiful portrait. Exactly. Of a dumped duo. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Submitted for your approval, Opie and Anthony. <laughs> so to speak. In other words, those acts necessarily aren't really happening, but they are described as on the air. Now, wait a minute. Are what? You saying... Those acts aren't necessarily happening. But they are as described on the air. Described as on described the air. Described as on the air. Yeah. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Bling, bling, bling. He's doing gymnastics with the English language. Exactly. What is he trying to say here? So to speak. In other words, those acts necessarily aren't really happening, but they are described as on the air. Now, wait a minute. Are you saying they didn't really have sex because the usher says uh, the people were partially naked? I'm not going to get into the... the if they wanted to do uh, a theater of the mind, they would have been in a car outside and said, we're inside the church, okay. Well, what Whoa. happened was there's a fail-safe system on the show. There's a 40-second delay that they use. In other words, they have up to 10 times to dump out of the the show within 40 seconds so right. if something gets aired that's inappropriate there's an opportunity to take it off the show so why didn't they dump it well that's what happened there's a whole chain of command the system that works with the program director and the right. uh, general manager both suspended well they both have boxes in their office and are able to dump out of the show at any time now they should have been on the post that afternoon monitoring the show now these guys it's opie and anthony you know you're not talking about you don't go to them for news weather this is sports. not paul harvey exactly you don't tune in the fox for for you know dirty jokes ah uh, he almost said right. Shock jocks. Shock jocks. Right. So you gotta stay on top of them all the time. So you gotta stay on top. You gotta stay on top. Mark, of we them. spent half our time staying on top of you, you idiot. Oh God. <laughs> what? How he is portraying himself in this is really funny. <laughs> he's coming off like he's the responsible guy. The voice of reason. <laughs> yeah. A gentleman. The voice of reason. And I'm sitting here in my suit, exactly. criticizing. Man. Exactly. You don't tune into Fox for, for you know, dirty jokes. They're, right. they're, they're shock jocks. Right. So you got to stay on top of them all the time. So yesterday they got fired. Uh, the general manager and the program director have been suspended. Are they going to get canned too? Most likely. And what happened is the formats wow. will probably change at the station. You'll probably see a switch uh, probably to light music. Uh, gotcha. like You're light kidding FM. me. So they're going to lose all that talk and that dramatic switch that Karma's on. And no Karma's on made happen. Well, they're on several markets as well. They're number one in right. Philly. They're number one in... Um, uh, they're number one in Buffalo. They're so number one in Cleveland. Then? Where do they? Uh, Detroit. Detroit. <laughs> Detroit. That's the only thing he's got wrong so far, really. Yeah. His facts are right. They did go to what? What a good call. Yeah. Well, he kind of knew that they were going to Light FM. I mean, after the the thing that blinked didn't work, they went right to Light FM. He's right. And we were on in Detroit. Yeah, they're number one in Buffalo. They're so number one in Cleveland. Then? Where do they? Uh, Detroit. Uh, let me think of another city, <laughs> Detroit. Did they move to another station and do their show from well, there? Because they were fired from Boston, were exactly. they not? They were also <laughs> fired Doing from, something. But you know what? Exactly. I, I, I spoke <laughs> to them last the mayor's night. Death. Is, right. is that correct, Mark? Yes, for the mayor's death. Yeah, time. they made believe the mayor died. <laughs> but, but, the, but this is Opie and Anthony. I mean, these guys, they, they said the mayor was dead on April Fool's Day. Right. I mean, come on. Who's going to really well, believe it? Ultimately, this, this just yeah, right. many people know it's April 1st. Come on. Ultimately, though, this shows you how far afield shock jocks have gotten. I mean, it used to be just Howard Stern just talking quasi dirty, but now we're having sex quasi dirty in, in a church. The Catholic League, with 350 members, now says, you know what? Since they got canned, we're not going to push for WNEW to lose right. their license. Since right. when does the Catholic League have 350 members? Yeah. I think he's off? A little bit. I didn't hear that, actually. Yeah. The Catholic League, with its 350 members, now says, you know what, since they got canned, we're not going to push for WNEW to lose right. their license. So they're stepping away from Which it. is a fair shot, and they had every, you know, every right to be mad. I mean, Bill Donahue is a good guy, yeah. and, and he had a right to He's not a good guy! Oh. What an ass. He's never talked to Bill oh. Donahue. Yeah, he did. He had him on the Fox show once, and he put a microphone on him. That's what Mark did. He told me. He goes, I had Bill Donahue sitting in the chair, and uh, I clipped the little clip-on microphone on him, and uh, turned on the little battery pack, and that was it. 
But he's not a good guy. He's an arrogant demagogue and a yeah. douche. Wants to uh, push his his morality uh, on everybody. Yeah. Well, you know, I sat down and spoke with him. And he's a good guy. Yeah. Could you say check one two? Thank you. <laughs> that's, that's the extent of our conversation. <laughs> the highest asshole he is. <laughs> I mean, Bill Donahue he is a good guy, yeah. and, and they, he had every right to be upset. Did, real quickly, did they ever talk about Opie and Anthony? Did they ever sit there and say, "Well, maybe this is going over the line," or was it just like, "Hey, let's push the envelope"? With that it all show, goes over the it line. It happened so fast. In other words, it made the air, and it's like you know, you stepped in crap. Oh mm -hmm. God, you know, what do you do? You're in it, and it was too late. Next Can we thing you know, that it, out. It was all all right, Mark, my last question. You are they going to sue to get their jobs back? Because this is what they do. They might have a lawyer. That Chances are they'll probably, they're in negotiations, negotiations right now with another company. And we'll probably see them back on the air shortly. So they'll take millions of dollars from CBS for leaving and go get another job someplace else. Most likely that's exactly what's going to happen. All right, Mark Walsh, thanks very much for giving us the exclusive Shortly. details on the morning. <laughs> Robin. All right, thanks very much. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a different house impression. He's such an ass. That. Uh, that was the best part. He goes, I know for a fact they're negotiating with another company. I'm sitting home going, Really? Really? We're negotiating, huh? Why don't you tell us who that is? It only it only took two years and three months to get back on the radio, Yeah, Mark. that's all. <laughs> We're negotiating a, a day after being canceled. That's most likely what'll happen in the Twilight Zone. <laughs> <laughs> really? Bob Eatman is currently on the right wing of an aircraft. <laughs> <laughs> My brother's on the wing. You've got to open the door. <laughs> uh, we, just, we just find that very funny because we know the guy. Uh, he was definitely trying to help us out, you know? Yeah, yeah. No, Mark is trying to help himself out. Mark loves attention. And when they said, uh, hey, why don't you come on and talk about ONA? You'd think he was going to say, well, I really don't have that much information. Or, get me the suit <laughs> and turn on the camera. Get me uh, the suit, get me the ride. And I'm, I'm in. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Needless to say, you know, needless to say... The entire thing was entirely exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. Exactly. <laughs> My entire interview was needless to say. Entirely. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Let me say exactly entirely. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Donahue's a good guy. Ugh. Ugh. You know... Hitler was really criticized. <laughs> certain, no one really yeah. looks at all the good he did. Mussolini was a great oil painter. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's our old uh, pal. We'll get him back on the air eventually. You know, he kept the trains on time. Exactly. <laughs> You'd look at your watch and say, the train is supposed to come in at 9. Uh, is it on time? Exactly. <laughs> exactly on time. Oh, really? Uh, do I need a schedule? Or needless to say, needless no. to have schedule. There's a platform full of frightened people, but needless to say, they'll all be hustled into the cars <laughs> and moved along. <laughs> ah, he's too much. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's going to be hot on those cars. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> needless to say, they should be hosed down. Maybe give some chocolates to the people at the next station to hose them down. <laughs> Oh, they were indeed kept together when they had arrived at the family camps. And before they got on, there was a discussion, don't go to Auschwitz. Don't go to exactly. Auschwitz. Exactly. Needless to say. Ooh, food's here. Let's ooh, take ooh, a break. Ooh, 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 we got some smoothies coming.